Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Quarry Rink for Catholic Central League Girls Hockey. St. Mary's taking on Bishop Fian. They're finally going to drop the puck. We're about 40 minutes late. Bishop Fian, for the first time, coming into the Catholic Central League, traveling from Attleboro, got stuck in traffic. And I think what they're doing is they're playing two halves. They're not going to play three periods. Because they started so late and there's other stuff going on here at Cornery Rink. Marblehead Youth Hockey comes in. St. Mary's Boys has a game at seven. So I think what they're doing is they're playing two halves. St. Mary's looking to change up. Angelina Catino in net for St. Mary's. Avery Blanchard. He's Avery Blanchard has been about three minutes since putting on her equipment. She was out in the lobby putting the equipment on. And now she's in, the, in net trying to keep St. Mary's off the board. A long trip from Attleboro. Pierce, Chaplin, and Porozinski, the line out there for St. Mary's. Tipped away by Katina on a shot from a tough angle. Pass cut blocked. Porozinski got it back, takes it over the line. Gets checked off. Battling in the corner as St. Mary's is changing up. Shot blocked out in front. Pregent and Litwin keeping it in along the sideboards. Dump in the zone by Styles. Pregent skates it out. Gets it in the zone. Donato looking for it as well. Fian looking to skate it out and St. Mary's looking to change up. Pass misses connections with Grossman. Alessandro banging in the corner. Pile up in the corner. St. Mary's comes away with it, clears it away. Bishop Fian keeps it in. Shot deflected wide of the net. Fian putting pressure on St. Mary's here. Love it. DiBiasio out there. Pass picked off. Shot blocked by Grossman. Loose out in front, still loose. Everybody trying to get a shot at it. Catino finally grabs it and holds on. And we're gonna face off in the St. Mary's end. So I guess the coaches decided to play two halves rather than play three periods. Shot deflected behind the net. Tip to Porozinski. One on one. Little tip a little too far. Lost it. Fian takes it away. Porozinski gets it back. Fian takes it away again. Broken up along the sideboards. Bodies go down. They dump it ahead. Getting back is Styles to collect. Porzinski into Chuck. Porzinski takes it away. Now they battle for it. Chaplin winds up with it. Circling. Gets it to Litwin. Her shot. 
deflected out in front, went off one of the defensemen. I think it was Styles. They leave it for Litwin walking in. Backhand that got blocked. Gets it back. Out in the middle. To Chaplin. Her shot blocked. See Mary's changing up on the fly. Putting pressure on. Walking in. The shot. Deflected wide. Coleman was there on the sideboards. Then out in front. Wide open net. Defense cleared away. Grossman couldn't get a, a stick on the puck. Regent tipped in. Regent's backhand uh, popped off the goaltender, laid out in front, and getting a piece was Donato, and Donato will knock it in. So Frigian picked it off, walked in, got the little backhander off. Blanchard was able to make the save, but it popped in, and sitting on the doorstep was Donato to tip it home. And St. Mary's grabs a one nothing lead, stolen away by St. Mary's. They bang it off the goaltender from the tough angle. Alessandro trying to walk in, tipped away off her stick. Fian will come the other way. Love it. Gives it back to Grossman. Out to center ice. Too far ahead for Love it. Trying to dig it out. It winds up in the St. Mary's end. Carried in and then knocked out by Diviasio. Dumped back in by Sullivan. Circling, looking to get a shot off. Can't. Picked off. St. Mary's dumps it ahead. They're looking to change up. Chaplin sends it in the zone. Well, DiBiasio in his own trap and comes out to try and get it. Kept in by Pierce. Taken away by Fian. Over the line, the shot wide off the stick of Borges. At the side of the net, Katina will hold on and force a face off. Chaplin wins the draw. Borazinski one on one. Spins. Still with it. Bounced off. Nice job. Nice defense. Just got Borazinski off the play. Litwin has to hustle. Freeman gets there first. Trying to flip it in front. Picked off. Broken up. Tipped away. Chaplin lobs it in and St. Mary's will change up. Coleman knocks it in the zone. Fian knocks it back out. Sullivan knocks it ahead. St. Mary's winds up with the puck. Circling, trying to throw it in front. Loose. Can't get a stick on it. Loose again in front. Shot hit the post. Loose puck. Bridget just got a stick on it. Knocked it to the net. It hit the post and bounced out. And then Blanchett finally grabbed it and held on. All around the net. Bridget couldn't get a, a good lick at it. And when she did, touch it. It hit the post. 
deflected away. St. Mary's breaks it up. DiBiase hustles back. Can't clear it. Now they clear it. Picked off by Lovett. Litwin, pass, picked off. Over the line, deflected away by Alessandro. Hi, everybody, winds up back in the Bishop Fee and in. Walking right in. Great rush. Picked it up, walked down the left side, went into the left face-off circle, and went upstairs and beat Catino over the shoulder. Megan Cronin. Ties it up at one. That was a great rush. All by herself, down the left side. Got to the left face off circle, cut in. And went over the shoulder of Catino. Trying to get it to Porozinski out in front. Couldn't get a lot on it. Sullivan keeping it in. Pierce behind the net. Chaplin's backhand, they got tipped wide. Nice pass from Pierce to Chaplin out in front. Porozinski hustling. Fian clears it out. Pierce will track it down. Chaplin looking to walk in. Stick saved by Blanchard off the shot by Coleman coming off the bench. Nice pass to Coleman. Coleman gets it again, trying to walk in out in front. Missed the net, right? Donato, they got it. Nice pass to Donato out in front. Her shot just rolled by the far post. Trying to go upstairs. Pad saved by Blanchett again, holding the post. St. Mary's all over the net. Blanchett finally grabs it and holds on. I watched Blanchett putting her goalie pads on out in the lobby, and I, looked, I said, she should be a basketball player. She's, she looked like she was nine feet tall. She's head and shoulders over everybody on the ice. Blanchett. I think the first time she saw it was when it hit her in the chest and then it bounced down and she grabbed it. She was kind of surprised the shot hit her right. Shoulder, chest high. And she was able to grab the rebound before anybody could get a piece of it. Tip behind the net. Bodies go down. Love it, trying to dig it out. And they were going to drop it back to Grossman. She, did, she thought they were going to take a shot, and it wound up going out to center ice. Sullivan coming back, has it knocked off her stick. Fian starts it back the other way. Porozinski shot. Blanchett got a stick on it. Trying to center it. Fian picked it off. Broken up by Litwin. 
Kaplan keeps it in. Slides it out in front. Broken up. Kaplan gets it back. Nice little shift. Blanchard got a piece of the shot. Good hard work by Chaplin. She's back at it again, tips it out in front by everybody picked off by Trent Fian. Litwin broke it up. Nice defense. Borozinski by herself. Shot, missed the net. St. Mary's and Fian both changing up. Bridget over the line, broken up. Fian coming back, three on two. Broken up nicely, and we got an offside. Good defense by Grossman. Broke up the rush, tipped it away, and then Fian went offside. Out to center ice. Skips pass. Coleman looking for it, gets picked off the play. Donato throwing it in front, blocked. Sullivan shot. Lancey got a pad on that one. They waved off icing. St. Mary's changing up. Being over the line. Love it. Slows it down. Out in front. Hossily blocked. Then Catino got a piece of that shot. Kept it out of the net. DiBiasio trying to walk in. Slips it across just behind. Love it was with her. Pass just behind, Lovett was walking in. Good bid by DiBiasio and Lovett. Trying to throw it in front, it got blocked. DiBiasio keeping it in. Kept in by St. Mary's again. Down in the corner, St. Mary's looking to change up. Nice shot by Pierce to keep it in. Shot hit the top part of the crossbar from a tough angle. Pierce circling, lets it fly. Blanchett had to make the save with Chaplin sitting right in her lap. Just under seven minutes left in this first half. First time we've ever done a two halves of hockey. We've never done really, really two halves of anything. It bounces off Sullivan's stick. I see against Bishop Fear, and that's the first one. First face-off, other than to start the game. And it will come to the right of Avery Blanchard in net for Bishop Fian. 1-1 one, one the score. 6.42 left. St. Mary's wins the draw. Out in front, picked off. Coleman was sitting on the doorstep, but the pass never got to him. It skips past Grossman. <coughs> Icing is called off because it touched Grossman. Loose out in front. <coughs> Shot. Catino grabs it with the glove and holds on. Fian put a little pressure on the spot and is there. 
It's a fan, I guess, of the Shamrocks. Trying to walk out from behind the net, and Catino again holds on. They try to stuff it home. Catino held the post. Bring it back to the St. Mary's end with the icing call. Chaplin will look for the draw with Kelly. Borzinski skates it out. Walk right by, walking in. Shot got tipped. Nice defense by Fian. But we shot deflected behind the net. Krupwich, I think, made that defensive play, and now we got an offside. Just over five minutes left. One one the score. Sullivan battling. And Mary skates it away. Oh, the defenseman fell down. Regent trying to walk in. I don't know if Blanchard got a piece or she forced Regent to shoot it wide, but it missed the net. And we got a St. Mary's penalty coming up. They took Bishop Fian down. So Fian's going to get a Power play. Donato got tied up with a Fiat skater and Fiat skater went down. He in controls. Missed everything. Alessandro's out there with Tibiasio. We're trying to clear it out. Can't. Now Littman flips it out. Yeah, we got a penalty coming up, I think, against DiBiasio. With the new rules, that might not have been a penalty, but that's going to put St. Mary's in a two-skater hole. This is, he and Skater is slow getting up. And Ms. Gagnon, Coach Gagnon, the trainer for St. Mary's, coming out to check on it. She's up. Under her own steam, says she's okay. 409 left. DiBiasio, I think, is DiBiasio is going to the box too. I think. Mike Cripps, the coach of Phoenix. A little voiceless with the referee. I don't know what the call was. They may have wanted a five-minute major. That's what it was. They called boarding on DiBiasio. Crips the coach wants a five-minute major. He's not going to get it. And she's talking about how his skater is hurt. And the referee only calls a two-minute penalty. But for, for a minute 21, St. Mary's is going to be down two skaters. 
then there'll be a, about another 40 seconds with the man is in. So momentum swinging green and gold out here for Bishop Fiat. <laughs> Alessandro had Chaplin with us. They're out there. And Porozinski, well, I got three forwards, but Porozinski is back on defense. Back to the point. Catino knocked it down and then grabbed it off the shot from Fitzgibbons from the blue line. 49 seconds left on the first penalty. Shot goes wide, back to the point. Shot goes wide again. Borzinski gets it, can't ice it. She gets it back. Now she gets it out the center ice. 20 seconds left on one penalty. Over the line. Stopping to set it up. Shot went way wide. Fian's there to scoop it up. Blocked out in front. St. Mary's clears it out. It's a break. Coming off the, the bench, the penalty area. Blanchard had to make the save. Now it's five on four. They ice it. 15 seconds left. Lance wound up having to make a save on that breakaway coming out of the penalty box. They've eaten up a lot of time here, and the penalty is up. So St. Mary's did a good job killing off that two-man advantage. Chaplin, Pierce, what was this? He's doing a nice job. Out in front, nobody home. St. Mary's keeps it in. Coleman working hard to keep it in the zone. Bouncing puck, being trying to skate it out. Sullivan winds up with it. O'Donnell gets it ahead, bounces by Coleman. Coleman tried to stuff it home. Chaplin tried to get around one to get a shot off and they took it away. Now she winds up with it. Shot missed the net. She gets it back. Out in front, they got a piece of the stick of Coleman as she was taking the shot off the pass from Chaplin. And the shot went wide. Ian picks it off. Borzinski looking for it. Sullivan winds up with it. Tip knocked back in. 30 seconds and counting. They tip it by. Alessandro picked it off out in front. It went in. <laughs> Alessandro threw it out in front.
And it was Maggie Pierce knocked it home. Thomas Hunter worked very hard to keep it in the, in the zone. Threw it across. Pierce one time to by Blanchard. That's a tough goal to give up with 10 seconds left. Alessandro over the line, lets it fly. Blanchard got a piece of it and knocked it away. So a huge goal. St. Mary scored first, took a 1-0 lead. A goal by Cronin tied it up and looked like it was going to stay that way going in at halftime. I have to say halftime because we're playing two halves. But then Alessandro made a big play, keeping it alive in the zone. Flipped it across and Pierce was there to knock it by. And St. Mary's grabs a two to one lead over Bishop Fian with a half left. Welcome back to Cornbury Rink as we're set to start what amounts to the second half. They're playing 22 minutes and 30 seconds, twice, which amounts to the normal 45 minutes. They're doing this because they had about a half hour or more delay. St. Mary's got that big goal. Delisandro, great job along the far boards. Keeping the puck in the zone, flipping across. Pierce was there to collect and knock it in with just a little over, maybe just about 10 seconds left to give St. Mary's a two to one lead. So Donato got one, Pierce got one. Prejant got an assist, Telesandro got an assist. They may have given a couple more, but we can't check what the score is because we can't go over the other side of the rink. St. Mary's had a lot of good chances, <clears throat> as did Fian, a good chance there. So now we've got an elbow on that shot. Coleman with it, gets it out of the zone. Fian takes it right back. Broken up, Litwin. Off the boards, kept in. Now it bounces out. And it winds up back in the fee and then St. Mary's looking to change up. It slides to the net. O'Donnell is there to pick it off because we never got Catino. St. Mary's comes up with it. It's Chaplin on the fly. Taking it to the middle, lost it off her stick. Porzinski trying to keep it in. Fian will skate it out as they're looking to change up. Shot from long range. Off the stick of Kuprich. Porzinski hustles and gets it. Out in front. Great try by Porozinski. She was looking for Pierce breaking to the net and the pass was just a little out in front. Ibiasio. Back to Grossman by O'Sullivan. Off the skate of Lovett. Fian knocks it in. Grossman looking for it. Lovett gets it back. Alessandro well, got broke along the boards as well. There should be a penalty. Alessandro bumped the player off. The puck went to go get it, and she got 
run over by Lauren Colliday. It wasn't Lauren Colliday, it was Grace Campbell. So we'll have Pierce Chaplin and D'Alessandro up front. Porzinski moves back and plays the point. It skips past Litwin. Porzinski has to hustle to go get it. Flip to the head, carried in nicely by Pierce. Circling. Threw it out in front. Deflected over the net. They try to go back door to Pierce. Litwin shot. Locked out in front. Locked home. Chaplin. It went off Blanchard. Litwin shot went off Blanchard. And it was laying there, and Chaplin had a wide open net, and that gives St. Mary some breathing room. <laughs> Chaplin had a good game the last game, getting a couple of points and getting a 100th point. Now she gives him a little bit of breathing room with the two goal lead. We got a whistle for something. St. Mary's is going to the penalty box. I don't know what that was about. Fear will have their third power play. They had a five on three for almost a minute and a half. Block. And St. Mary's clears it out. Kibiasio and D'Alessandro. Rosinski is back at the blue line with Litwin. And here he clears it away. There he clears it away again. Ian carries it over. Shot. Or was this? You got a piece of it. It went high over the net, over the glass, and out of play. And we'll have a face-off to the right of Catino. So there'll be no state championship this year. They'll have a Catholic Central League tournament, like they did in soccer. All the teams will get together and do it again, both boys and girls. Assuming the virus lets them. Chaplin couldn't clear it, shot got blocked. Back to the point, from one side to the other. 30 seconds left on the man advantage. Out in front, Pierce trying to get a piece of it, finally does, and skates it out and flips it to the Fianen. St. Mary's will clear it and that'll just about do it for the minute of end. So again, St. Mary's kills off the penalty. 
DiBiasio comes up with it. D'Alessandro with her. And they knock it all the way back to the St. Mary's end as they miss connections. Deflected out the center ice. Knocked away. Love it. Actually got a shot on that. She flipped it behind. Didn't hit anybody. And then it wound up going all the way to Catino. Working hard along the sideboards. DiBiasio did a great job forcing it along and finally getting it out of the zone. Two on two for the moment. Broken up. Nice back checking by St. Mary's. Deflected. Tipped away. Regent broken up. Coleman knocks it in the zone. Fregent was already there, so they have to clear. This is going to be icing, I believe. Long lead pass, too far ahead. Too much mustard on the pass. And we got just over 15 minutes left in the second half. Did I mention? It's still the 45 minutes, but they played it in halves, 22 minutes and 30 seconds, which gets them to 45 minutes. And they didn't have to make new ice but once. O'Donnell broke it up. Fian keeps it in. Walking in, the shot got blocked. It trickled in, and Catino grabbed it and held on. Too far ahead, this would be icing against St. Mary's. Lead pass a little too far out in front. Trying to send Pierce in. Blocked out in front. St. Mary's trying to dig it out. It skips out the center ice. Pierce beats everybody there. Walking in, circling that, couldn't get the shot off. Good bid by Pierce. But they just forced her behind the net. Couldn't get the backhander off. Ibiasio knocks it out to the Fian blue line. Porozinski hit the check, almost took it away. Alessandro got a piece. Litwin. Alessandro comes away with it. And there's a collision. Alessandro ran right over the defenseman and she went down and she's slow getting up. I think, I think Alessandro hit her right in the midsection. Styles and Alessandro both going head on. And she's up going to the bench, thank God. They both went down, but Styles was slow getting up. She got right around the midsection, might have knocked the air out of her. Alessandro doesn't take any prisoners out there.
She's what you would call aggressive. There she is breaking up the play. Bodies go down, and Della Santos in the middle of that again. I think they're going to get her for a penalty. The fiend skated, get up very quickly and start to go after her and stopped. But the official is going after. Alessandro's going out. Fiend will have another power play. Litwin, Gross, Grossman, Porozinski as Donato has it up, bounce off her pad, holds on. Flip out past everybody. Porozinski hustling after it. Captain is the other penalty killer. They flip it by again, back to the fee and end. Thrown back in by St. Mary's. Lippmann, Grossman, Porozinski, and Chaplin, the penalty killer. Porozinski breaks it up. Breaks it up again. Slips it by, just knocked away from her she was, as she was trying to walk in. St. Mary breaks it up. Was in she shot. Blanchett had to make the save. Broken up again, Chaplin. St. Mary's not letting Fian get started on this power play. Killing time along the boards. Breaking it up. Good hard work. Whitman broke it up from behind. Bean keeps it in. Short, then now we got a piece, knocked it down. It was a rebound, but Catino grabbed it quickly. Twelve seconds left in the man advantage. Just over eleven minutes left in the hockey game. Three to one. St. Mary's looking to go three one and one. Bishopian. They were the state champions last year. That one out in front, got tipped high, wide of the net. St. Mary's clears it out and that'll do it for the penalty. Chaplin with it. I throw it in front, it went off the skate of Love It out there. Short missed the net. St. Mary's can't keep it in. Sullivan tracks it down. Love It tips it in the zone. Fian skates it out. Love It breaks it up. He fanned on the pass trying to get it ahead to DiBiasio. Tipped out right on to the stick of Chaplin. Walking in, trying to walk around, still with it. Back to the point. Chaplin's looking to go to the bench as they changed up a long time ago. Diving to try and keeping it in and couldn't was Grossman. Off the stick of Pregent into the zone. Bodies go down all over the place.
Body's going down again. Kept in by Grossman. Lovett trying to go upstairs. Blanchard got a piece of it. Loops out in front. Blanchard trying to grab it. Everybody trying to hit it. Blanchard finally grabs it. We had all 10 players out in front of the net trying to get a piece of the puck. Blanchard finally grabbed it. 9-13 left in the hockey game. Won the draw, but they tipped it back out to center ice. They tried to tip it by, they couldn't. He had coming back, tied up, broken up. Everybody trying to get clear. He had finally gets the puck. Grossman winds up with it. And I don't, can't clear it. Winds up at center ice. Long pass. Icing against Fian. Both teams will change up. Broken up. Loose puck in the St. Mary's zone. Sullivan tracks it down. Out the center ice. They throw it back in. Bishop Ian has to clear. Pass picked off. From one side to the other. St. Mary's can't clear it. Alessandro winds up with it. Her pass picked off, deflected out. Bodies go down. Catino had to make the save off the shot from out, outside, virtually the red line. Now they break it up. Fian's got a break. Regent hustles back and blocks it. The shot was going to go over the net, but Catino grabbed it. Kelly almost had a breakaway. Good hustle by Pregen to catch up and force her to take the long range shot that went up over everything. Picked off the pass. That would have been a breakaway for Chaplin if that pass goes through. Nice play by the defender. Quality. Regent broke it up. Roll to the net, broken up. And we got a penalty coming up, I think against Grossman. Taking the player down. Six thirty-six left in the hockey game. It's been a bizarre game, bizarre day, especially for Bishop Fee. They were it took them a month to get here by bus. They were tied up everywhere, slowed down. They couldn't. They got here very late. Got to hustle, get dressed, get out on the ice, and then instead of playing. Three 15 minute periods. We played two 22 and a half minute halves. Fian has to clear the zone or they would have been offside. O'Donnell with the puck. 
broken up nicely. Can't clear it. Broken up again. Then Mary's finally shovels it out. Over the line, broken up. Nice pick off by the defense. O'Donnell. O'Donnell knocking the skater down out in front. Shot goes wide. Out in front, bodies go down. Grace Campbell almost wound up in the lap of Catino out in front. St. Mary's finally cleared out. They did it. Looked like Fian kept it in, but it went off a skate. It went off the skate of Borges and deflected out the center ice. And nice little shift by Brega. But as she was shifting, there was a player going in on the other side, offside. Just over five minutes left. Deflected away. Ian finally dumps it in. Litwin cracks it down behind the net. Brown looking for DiBiasio. Litwin again behind the net. Out in front, blocked, knocked away, deflected away. Shot. I think it was Sullivan got her stick way up in the air, deflected that. Luckily, she tipped it over the net. I don't think they saw it, Alessandro Bricky. Tipped away nicely. By Kupwich. Over the line, they leave it for Pregent. For a shot. Put it on net. Blanchett had to make the save. And we're just under four minutes left in the hockey game. The face-off will be to the left of Blanchard. It's going to be a tough bus ride home for Bishop Fee. They spent all day on the bus. Donato's attempted rebound got blocked by the defense. Grossman cleans it out to center ice. Right. He dumps it back in, but they have to get out of the zone or they'll be offside. Broken up. Nice back checking by Donato. Looking for a break. Regent's going to walk in alone. Great save by Blanchard. Regent fake like she's going to go backhander. Went with the forehand. Now they're offside. She faked. Got around the goaltender and Blanchard reaching at a piece of it. Kaplan knocks it in the zone. Still looking for it. Love it, tracks it down. Out in front. Blanchard got a piece of it as Chaplin was trying to stuff it home. Good bid by Love it, Chaplin. Chaplin will look for the draw.
Wozinski with it. Love it lines up with it. Out in front, it got picked off by Borges. Kaplan gets it back, keeps it in. Grossman can't keep it in. Love it, hustles and breaks up the play. Staying with it was Borges. He spun around with the backhand. They got it on net. Catino had to make the save. Catino will grab the loose puck and hold on. So unless lightning strikes here, Shamiris is going to get the second straight win at home. They're going to go to 3 1 and 1. And they'll be undefeated in their last four games, tying the tie with Austin Prep. Three wins in a tie in their last four. They lost the opening game to Matt Yon here in a tough one, but they didn't really play well. They try to dig it out, and we got a whistle. I don't know if somebody got a stick on it over the head. Or it's not a penalty. Fisher Fian is going to go with six skaters. They're taking Blanchett out. So nobody in that for Fian. Just over a minute left, and we're going to get a timeout beforehand. <coughs> Bishop Fian and Bishop Stang are the two new additions to the Catholic Central League. And it took them a month to get here today. The bus, all kinds of traffic, they were stopped. He told me one place they were at least a half an hour, close to an hour, not even moving. As it was, they were lucky to get this game started about 30 or 40 minutes late. So they went with two halves, 22 minutes, 30 seconds, ac accounting for the 45 minutes, but only having one break in between. St. Mary's got on the board in the first period. It was present with a nice little pass, and Donato knocked it home, and it was one nothing. A great rush by Megan Cronin down the near side, got to the left faceoff circle and beat Catino up over the shoulder. It was one to one. But then a back-breaking goal for Bishop Fian. Delisandro, who's been a big involvement in this game, she kept it in along the far boards near the Bishop Fian bench area, got down near the left faceoff circle, threw it across in front, and Maggie Pierce was there to bang it home. That was a huge goal, made it two to one. And then Litwin combined the shot. Her shot was deflected off the goaltender. Sitting on the doorstep was Jenna Chaplin. And she had a wide open net to knock it in. And that gave St. Mary's a little bit of breathing room at three to one. That's where we are. And Bishop Fian has six skaters on the ice. A minute and counting. Then Mary's can't clear it. You don't want to ice it. You want to skate it out or just flip it out the center ice. They flip it out. Fian winds up with it. They carry it back in. She didn't play with Talbot. I think it was her own player that knocked her down. Then Mary's trying to keep control it. It rolled right along the crease, wide open, and they couldn't get the puck, the stick on the puck, and now we got a whistle.
The officials are talking about what they're going to call. Two players went down. Six seconds left. It's immaterial here. D'Alessandro was involved again. D'Alessandro was talking to the officials saying, just drop the puck six seconds, let's get out of here. But she's going to the penalty box. Matching penalties. So it'll be five on five. Blanchard is back in the net. He'll drop the puck and this game will be just about history. And that'll do it. So Pierce's goal from D'Alessandro was the winner, making it two to one with 10 seconds left in the first half. Chaplin put the icing on the cake on a rebound off a shot from Litwin that made it 3-1, to one, and that was the final score. So St. Mary's makes it four in a row without a loss. Three wins and a tie. And now they can't shake hands, they can't get together, so they just get to the blue lines and congratulate each other with sticks. So that'll do it here for this one. St. Mary's will go to 3-1-1. One, and one. Fian will go to 1-4. and four. It was Donato, Pierce, and Chaplin with the goals. I gave assists to Pregent, D'Alessandro, and Litwin. There might have been a few more, but that's the final score, 3-1. to one. And now the only thing Bishop Fian can hope for is they don't get tied up on the bus on the way home and have to spend another month driving on the bus to go home, so we wish them a safe trip back. St. Mary's wins it, making it four in a row without a loss, going to 3-1-1. They beat it 3-1 over Fian. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm John Hoffman saying we'll see you next time.